Yo, what's up guys? Back with another Hitman 2 gameplay. Listen, you guys have been killing it lately. Let's keep on going. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Maynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungnam Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold. And so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowloon Heavy Industries' new race. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowloon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Securities around here too. You pat me down then. Hmm. Huh. Say I'm gonna take a longer way. Apparently. daughter okay I think I'm gonna try and take this guy out first there's gonna have to it's gonna be a lot of complications in this one he's right there Technical genius. He's really protective about his projects. Prefers to fix 
fix everything himself, apparently. Don't worry about grabbing him. If anything goes awry, we'll see you down here as fast as lightning. Gotcha. Hmm. Robert Knox has a race, has a race car, car on display in the expo building. The show, the show staff, staff is under strict instructions, instructions to summon him at any sign of malfunction. Apparently, Apparently Knox, Knox trusts no one, one to fix his car, car but him. him. Hmm. Perhaps, Perhaps it's, it's time, time to poke around under the hood, 47. They do they say, say one should, should never mess, mess with another man's wheels. Hmm. Interesting. So why don't we just check out the car? We'll flush him out. Oh, we need a screwdriver. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna need to have a try something I don't know if this is gonna work wait is there anything here oh this is perfect okay I'm gonna try this There's a fucking guy right there. Huh. Wow, I can't believe I pulled that off. <laughs> Alright, let me pick up this gun. Let me pick this up. Let's get that. Let's sabotage the car. I think I have a great idea where this is going. Disguise as an engineer. Well, I'm gonna find an engineer. Oh. Heard a few Kronstadt mechanics talking about it the other day. Something about not not wanting to use it because she wanted to win on her own. Imagine that. Isn't that illegal? I don't know. Knox ordered them to put it in. So they asked me to put it in. Why didn't they? Like not touching it again. Sounds like it was in the street. Hmm. Let's walk away. Okay. This is gonna have to something's gonna have to happen here. I don't know what's supposed to happen here. If this guy could just go upstairs, that'd be so good. Ah, something needs to happen right now. There's only those two guys. Okay, this guy's walking. This guy's walking. Now this guy's walking. Guys, I really don't know what to do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I got it. Just keep practicing, my friend. We'll learn it 
it someday. Ah. Oh. Where's my stuff? Where I throw it at? Okay, stuff has stuff had to happen. Okay, I'll put you in your yeah. Put you in there with your friend. Alright. Good. I dare say this should get Nox's undivided attention. Let's see if he comes down. I got my gun ready just in case. The guy's right there. I need a good shooting position. He's coming, he's coming down. Knox is done. Goodbye to him. All right, now time to get his daughter. Oh shit! I'm trespassing. Oh wait, I can just switch back to the. Yep. <laughs> Now I don't know where I'm at. Alright. Now I just need to go to the daughter. I escaped. You guys cannot tell me that was good. I was planning that. Even though he even though he looked right at me, I was planning that. The race is entering its final lap, 47. I'm heading into the race right now. Alright, I got by security, I took care of Knox. I need to get her in a simple... Okay, he doesn't know. What that guy does. certain position where I don't have to be seen. Oh crap, this guy could catch me. 47, the race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now. Yeah. 
Why are you staring at me? I'm just security. Uh oh. Sierra Knox has jumped on the revitalization bandwagon and is scheduled for an injection of some sort. The doctor who is supposed to help her with the procedure is preoccupied with a patient who is unable to urinate. Curious situation, 47. Maybe you can speed things up. Hmm. Buying us beer tonight. Okay. Let's go see what the doc is doing, shall we? Scare for a second. Don't mind me. I'm a doctor. Okay. Now we're back in business. And they cannot notice me. Good. Hello. Hi. See where this goes. Find a lethal syringe. Lethal syringe. Lethal syringe. I got no key. Okay, it's a key somewhere on the desk. Attention, Sierra Knox. Your vitamin and rehydration session has been delayed. More information will follow. Yes. I oh, need. Doctor. Dr. Reaper. Ah, yes, yes, of course. Well, whenever you're ready, you can page Miss Knox. I know she's very eager to get her vitamin boost. I'll prepare for her arrival. Dr. Reaper. <laughs> I, like how you, I like what you did there. She's a long way. And now I just have to wait here. Why can't you shoot her in the face? <laughs> She's right there. Oh, I'd let you take my temperature. Miss Knox, I'm ready for you. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's do this indeed. Where'd 
Miss Knox, look at that guy. Come on in. They say these Have a seat in your all life. At it. So, what's on the menu? Something that'll take care of you. You won't feel a thing. <laughs> so, so what's cold. in this thing anyway, Doc? Mostly floral extracts, hemlock, belladonna, aconite. It's designed to be fast and efficient. Fast and efficient. I like that. Wait, wait. belladonna? Isn't that poisonous? Yes. yes. Should I be concerned? I'm not. Just relax. It'll be over soon. Yes, it will be over soon. Hope you're having a good time. Poison. What the fuck? I can't poison her. Hey, you know what? I do feel refreshed. Thanks, Thanks Doc. My pleasure, Miss Knox. My pleasure, Miss Knox. Uh, I, I don't feel. Uh -oh. I don't feel well, Doctor. Don't worry. It'll be over soon, Miss Knox. <laughs> Damn. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit and we'll speak again soon. Well then. Ladies and gentlemen, I am gone. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Mrs. Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. <laughs> you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadow boxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this heart of flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. 
Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. Well guys, we're gonna end it right there. If you guys enjoyed this Hitman 2 gameplay as usual, give it a couple likes, share, comment, subscribe if you're new, post, hit the post notification bell so you don't find my videos. And um, see you guys next time. As always, unleash the beast inside you because you know he's always awake. Peace out guys.